Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'll be guiding you through a short morning yoga stretch. It's going to be low to the ground, stretchy, and there are going to be maybe one or two downward facing dogs, but nothing that we hold um, in great length and you will not need any props. So I hope you enjoy today's practice and I hope that it provides what you need to get your day started. So like I said, no props and we will get started in a tabletop position. So finding your tabletop position, knees are in line with your hips and shoulders are in line with your wrists. Let's take a few cat cows from here. So inhale, belly drops, chin lifts. And as your chin lifts, think about pulling your wrists back towards your knees. And exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Really spread those shoulder blades wide. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Find your neutral tabletop position again. And we'll just make some figure eights with the hips. So stick your hip out to the right and then out to the left. Out to the right and out to the left. And now what you wanna think about is scrunching or squeezing your right side. So trying to squeeze your right shoulder to your right hip. And then the other side, squeezing your left side. So left shoulder to left hip. Just finding some fluidity in the hips. We'll do the same thing with the chest. So dropping the chest down through the center over to the right. So as you bring your chest over to your right, you scrunch your left side. Draw the shoulders, shoulder blades up towards the ceiling and then bring the chest down to the left. And as you bring the chest down to the left, you squeeze your right side. So just making some movements in one direction and being sure to switch directions. And of course, if this feels too structured, you can always just move in ways that feels most natural for you. So finding that tabletop position again, let's inhale the right knee up, out to the side, down and around. Do this three times in one direction. And we'll switch directions. And on your final one, kick your leg out to the right and bring your foot down so that your right toes are in line with your right kneecap. Take a nice big inhale with your right arm to reach up, inhale, and exhale. You're gonna swoosh your right arm underneath the left to bring your right temple to the floor. And being sure to draw your right shoulder away from your ear. Nice big inhale and sigh it out. Push into the palms. Bring that right hand back out from underneath you. And from here, you're simply going to step your right foot to the outside of your right pinky finger. 
and then sink your weight forward. Untuck your left toes if they aren't already. Reach out through the collarbone and enjoy the stretch. Big inhale and let it go. From here, simply send your hips back and bring your right knee back to meet the left. Shimmy it out from side to side and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll take those hip rotations, extend the left leg this time, up, out, and down. I'm trying to go nice and slow, making sure you do the other direction. And on this final one, we'll kick the left leg out to the left. Plant down through the right hand and inhale the left arm up. And exhale, sweep the left arm underneath the right. Bring the left temple to the floor. One more inhale. And exhale, gently unravel. Bring the left hand back to the floor and the right hand to meet it. Simply take your left foot now and step it to the outside of your left pinky finger. And from here, sink your weight forward and down. Untuck the right toes if they aren't already. Broaden through the collarbone. Take a nice big inhale and sigh it out. From here, we're going to tuck the right toes under, pick up the right knee and step back with the left foot, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Right. From here, rising up high onto your tippy toes, round forward, find a plank. Once in your plank position, turn both heels to the right and drop your right hip all the way to the floor. Enjoy that stretch. You can stay propped up on left fingertips. Only be here for a few seconds. Inhale, come back up through plank, downward facing dog. That feels really nice on the side body. We'll do the other side. So inhale to round forward, plank. Turn both heels to the left this time and drop your left hip. Spider your right fingertips. Enjoy that stretch on the side body. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. The 
Let's drop to our knees. Come all the way to our bellies. Prop yourself up onto your forearms for Sphinx. Bring your feet as wide as your mat for this one. Everything below the waist is relaxed. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. You can bring your hands to prayer just for a few breaths. Maybe taking some neck rotations here. Let's gently open the eyes from here. Lower all the way down, bring your hands beside you, and we're going to push ourselves up and back to a child's pose. Knees come out wide, big toes touch. Bringing the forehead to the mat. And on your next exhale, gently bring your hands back. Bring yourself all the way back up to a seated position, hero's pose. Rock forward, untuck your toes. Sorry, rock forward and tuck your toes under and sit your weight back onto your heels. Just for five deep breaths. exhale plant your palms in front of your knees push yourself all the way up into a standing forward fold and just allow the belly to drape over the thighs maybe bring a little bit of space in your feet let the head go nod your head yes and no So let's plant our palms. You're gonna step forward to the top of the mat with the left foot and then turn your toes towards the side of the mat. So your feet are parallel. Plant the palms into the mat, inhale to halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Two more, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. One more inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hold and fold.
inhale halfway lift walk all ten fingertips back towards the top of the mat so now your left toes are pointing forward and so are your right toes but your feet are on train tracks inhale to halfway lift find a flat back square off your hips draw your right hip forward left hip back and exhale fold Inhale, and exhale, come back through the forward fold, and then over to the other side. So now your right toes are pointing towards the top of the mat. Square off your hips again, draw your left hip forward, right hip back, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step up to the top of the mat. Bring in your left foot to meet your right. Turn your toes out, heels in, and gently coming down into your version of a squat. So if you can't come completely down, you can always stay up using your glutes for support. Otherwise, bringing your hands to prayer, you can push open on your knees with your palms or on, with your elbows. Or what I like to do is I like to hold on to my mat or reach your fingertips forward. And gently spider your fingertips behind you. Come to sit all the way down and come to lay all the way down onto your back. Bend the knees in towards the chest. And let's drop both knees to the left, gaze to the right. back through center, other side, drop both knees to the right, gaze to the left. back through center finishing off our practice with double wind relieving pose draw the knees in towards your chest lift your head neck and shoulders wrap your arms around your knees or grab onto your feet squeeze into a nice tight little ball for three for two Nice big inhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale, release. You can find Shavasana here, or maybe you come up to a seated position. Just taking these few moments to set your intention for your day.
feeling free to stay here for as long as you'd like. Maybe you go and you have your tea or your morning, morning ritual, maybe you journal. But it's always nice to do a practice before you get to those things. I personally, I just, I feel like they become more enjoyable when your body is more, more at ease. I hope you enjoyed today's practice and I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful day.